The Driving Miss Daisy franchise offers a driving and companionship service which is growing across the UK, providing support for families and making a big difference to people's lives. John Gibson reports. Good morning, thank you for calling Driving Miss Daisy. Nikki speaking, how can I help? When customers call Driving Miss Daisy, it's no ordinary transportation service. I came home one day and found this little blue leaflet on the map. And uh, it sounded rather intriguing. Uh, care and, and taxi and companionship. And I thought, well, sounds like just what I need. <laughs> so uh, I gave it a ring. Hello, hey, Peter. Yeah, right. How are you? Yeah, very well. We would speak to the customer, find out a bit more about what they're after and divert them through to their local franchise. Peter's a regular client. There we go. Today, it's a trip to the shops. I'll just pop the trolley in the back and then I'll be with you. OK. Instead of just driving Peter to the shops, his companion for the day, Susie, will stay with him. That's the driving Miss Daisy difference. The magnolia's looking lovely. Yeah, fantastic. Best it's ever been. We have a wide variety of people who call, really. We'll have the clients themselves, we'll have um, family members, carers, sometimes outside organisations, like um, maybe a local social service company. Oh, everything's looking rather green round here. Yes. This is good. Quite often it starts with somebody just wanting to find out whether or not we can take them to doctors, dentists, hospitals, that kind of thing. Once they've used us and they find out we also are a companion service as well, quite often that then uh, progresses through to we can take them on holidays or we can take them for days out, take them to theatre trips. So we'll literally fit in whatever the customer's after. Is it these ones you like? Yeah, they're a small packet. Our motto, where family when family can't be there, is, is really at the heart of what we do. And we do become indispensable aids to families in terms of looking after either elderly parents or youngsters and children who may need special support. The fact that somebody is, is now getting into their 70s, 80s or 90s doesn't mean to say that they've stopped wanting to live their lives and, and getting up to mischief. And so we enable all of that to happen. For clients like Peter, driving Miss Daisy is about much more than getting a bit of help at the shops. It's given him back his independence and has transformed his life. I'm not a self-assured person generally. I'm a bit sort of shy and, and reluctant to talk to people sort of thing. But when I'm out with the Daisies, I, I feel everything's free and easy, you know? I, 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 I'll enter into conversations with people that I wouldn't have done normally. It's um, really changed my life. No doubt about it. If I'm not out on a trip, I'm organising two or three through the year that I've suddenly come across. The Bournemouth Air Show, I want to go there. The Bowington Tank Museum. Um, there's a show called Abathonics coming on at the Albert Hall. It's sort of given me the chance to actually fulfil my life's dreams, I suppose you'd call it. And as demand grows, so is Driving Miss Daisy, helping clients and their families get the most out of life. There we are, that's another shopping trip sorted. Yeah. Knowing they're in safe hands. <laughs>